Hi, today I'm going to show you how to install OBS Studio on FreeBSD. So first of all, we need to come across and search for OBS Studio on FreeBSD using PKG Search OBS. We can see from the list of results we've got OBS Studio and the description that is an open source streaming recording so software. So we know, we know we've got the right package. Uh, we can also see listed OBS QT WebKit, which is a browser source plugin for OBS Studio. So we're going to install those two packages. As root, uh, we're going to do as pkg install OBS Studio and OBS QT WebKit, which is a browser plugin. After that, we need to edit our zshrc file or shell config file and set the xrg xr, xdg runtime directory, which in this case we're going to set to temp and then user. And this is needed for pulse audio. And the other important thing that we need to do is make sure that the um, directory has the correct um, permissions. So after we've done that, what we need to do is actually source our ch um, src file. We do like so, and then what we need to do um, is um, use DOAS to check the microphone is um, plugged in um, and being recognised. And what you need to do with OBS is um, plug the mic in before you boot up, otherwise it's not going to recognize it. And we can see down here that the microphone's recognized. So next what we need to do is come across to um, list our um, audio devices, which we do with ls-l dev dsp asterisk and we can see the audio devices listed there and now the next step is to come across um, and check um, the sound stat um, which is going to show you a list of all the devices that are connected and we can see um, all the audio devices that are connected and the in this case the microphone is PCM4 So after that, what we need to do is come across to the mixer and um, increase the volume of the mixer for that device to 100%. And now we'll have a quick word from our sponsors. Look what happens when you buy three boxes of Purina Cat Chow. You get one box free. Purina Cat Chow. Buy three bags of Purina Cat Chow and get a coupon good for one bag free. Purina Cat Chow, Cat Chow Chow. No matter what size you buy, you can mail in proofs of purchase and get a coupon good for one free. Purina Cat Chow, Chow Chow Chow. So buy any three Purina Cat Chow now and get one free. Chow Chow Chow. Now we're going to move on to setting up um, Pulse Audio. Um, if we list the temp directory, um, we can see that the XDG um, directory we created um, shows up with um, various um, things already in it. And what we're going to do now is um, run Pulse Audio and um, start it and then list the temp directory we created again. And you'll see that Pulse Audio is now listed down here. If you want to kill Pulse Audio, what you have to do is run pulse audio dash dash kill was a shorthand just dash k uh, so now I'll have a quick look at the OBS settings and if I come across to um, the audio setting down here and see I'll set the sample rate to 44100 and the mode to one um, to mono and the default desktop is set to default um, 
and the microphone is set to DSP4, which is our device. Um, our device. Um, so what I'll do now is um, show you the recording section here. Um, save to file, set to Matroska. Set the um, video bit rate to about 5000 and the audio rate. And I've got the output video settings down there. And um, next thing we're going to have a look at is the um, audio properties. You can see I've got the um, audio properties down here selected to both be on the same track. And on the audio filters, um, if I click my microphone and select filters, we'll then see the filters that um, I'm using, which are just set to the default pretty much. You just click the plus button and you can see all the list of filters down there. And um, I'm using noise suppression, noise gate, Uh, a compressor and a limiter and that's basically it